All right. All right. All right. I hope everyone is doing okay. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. The time is quarter past nine. My name is Alshaw94. Welcome to another live stream of The Room 3. Here we go. Let's go. Mobs21, part of the notification gang. Let's get going with this stream. Now, this is where we left off on the last live stream. We had like a real like Game of Thrones kind of vibe uh, with this kind of 3D map uh, in the centre of the table. I've not used any hints as yet and don't plan to do so at all. Now, uh, we have this central tower here which I think is pretty much like a model of where we're looking at. Um, we've got this little dome here which we can't do anything with at the moment. It's missing like a topper for it I think. Um, we also had this little nodule pop up as well now this little nodule i think fits a boat because this is like a shipyard so we'll have a look at that hopefully later on in this live stream and we also had a little gander into two areas where we can go a little bit deeper so if we use the lens we go in here for just a sec so we've already found one magnet but we need to try and find what happened to the other magnet which hopefully we'll do in this episode or this live stream and I don't think really there's much else that I can really set the moment in time apart from getting straight back into the room three this magnet here oh it does that okay so we need to find the other magnet definitely um, we've also got this looking lock here which is kind of cool with like a looks like a chestnut tree or something or uh, what else have we got oh we've got this drawer down here now this drawer here what is that ah a model clock face if it's a model clock face that's gonna belong out of this part of the game and instead we're gonna be putting it I think onto the tower which is over here double click okay Back in we go. Those shards, for those that are just tuning in for the first time, mean that we can dive a bit deeper with the lens. And we now get an owl. Now this owl's got this golden beak. That's a bit strange. Also strange. But underneath its wing is a model boat. So we called it just two minutes ago. We're going to put this model boat onto that weird, uh, that little frame we saw in the shipyard. Uh, so just here. This boat belongs in here. Up and around. And we go back in. What animal is it this time? Is it an animal? It is an animal. This is like a rodent or a rat looking thing. Uh, let's flick the switch. That's also weird. Okay. That puts his ears up to attention. Right. What am I missing? Oh! An eye there. And an eye there. Okay. I just love how intricate these little puzzles are. It always fascinates me what Fireproof does with these games. We get a key now. I've no idea where this key goes, but it goes somewhere. I'm guessing it's probably not anywhere in this room at the moment. Uh, so we could go and have a little look around uh, the actual room. Because there might be something that we might have missed. Um, let's have a quick look back on the table. I don't think there's anything of here of note. So likely then, if it's going to be anywhere, it's probably going to be back in this main part here. Uh, okay. We need a keyhole. Keyhole. Are you anything? Nope. Anything on top? No. Looks like a lighthouse on top, doesn't it? That little... That little thing there, but... 
I'm refusing to use a hint. Absolutely no chance of my using a hint. Got this weird looking symbol there. Okay, so it's probably not in here then. Okay. Let's back out then. Right. Are we missing anything at all? Let's have a look at we probably should have a look at the individual mod models that we have. Uh, just to make sure, because there might be a lock somewhere on these models that we might have missed. But as yet, I can't see anything out of the ordinary. There's not even like a keyhole on the table. I feel like this might be a live stream where I literally don't know where I'm going to be going, what I'm going to be doing. Anything in here of note? No. Oh, I really do not want to use a hint. Okay, so the name of the tab will, will reveal the way, which it has done, to be fair. There's nothing on this window ledge, is there? That is the tower in the actual game, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, answer to question, Mubs, I have played this before, but this is a game that I haven't really played a lot on replay because this game had three alternate endings. Um, and so the first two games were fine. I could play those through quite well. This is a game that's so intricate that I didn't actually play it through that many more times after doing it the first time. Uh, now, it's got to be somewhere back on the model, unless I'm missing something with this key, which I don't think I am. Okay. Magnet there. Let's have a look at here then. So we saw earlier uh, these th these two symbols here, this X and this circle. Now that corresponds, I think, to this. So there's the X, and the circle is there. Now I think if we look into it, we can see that we've got uh, these little dots or these little uh, engraves in here. It's going to correspond to where the magnet goes. Unfortunately, we're missing the second magnet. Um, so, we desperately need to find that, um, which we can't do until we know where this key goes. Maybe I've got to use a hint. Maybe that. Maybe that, that's the way. I mean, I'm not. I can't see anything immediately that's sprung up. Uh, there's nothing in here, I take it. No. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing there either. It can't be in, in another one of these models, surely. Okay, so we're back inside the rodent room. Uh, let's just double check that we haven't missed anything. So we can't do anything with its butt. Can't move it backwards and forwards anymore. That is not doing anything extra. We can still move it about. Okay, so there's nothing, there's definitely nothing in here that I've missed. Uh, nope. Okay. We're back out of here then. We might have to have a look at the eyepiece to be fair. Um, let's have a little look around. There's nothing there. Have a look back in here quickly. It's going to be something really silly and obvious that we've or that I've just missed nothing in there is 
anything out of the ordinary with any of these towers. I don't think there is. The eyepiece is just changing colour slightly with that little thing there. There's nothing. I can't click on any of these, which even though they look like they want to turn, they don't want to know. I think for the sake of the stream, can you wear the eyepiece in the small building? We, we did check that little outhouse there. Um, we've also, I think we checked this little, this little thing in here as well, haven't we? So blue on one side, red on the other, but that's cool. Nothing out of the ordinary there. No, okay. So we'll just we'll just do the rounds one more time in case we've missed something. Otherwise, for the first time, we're gonna have to use a hint to kind of get a, the ball part as to where we need to go which is going to frustrate me slightly but at the same time with this game in particular it, uh, it is a lot more intricate and more complex than the other two games combined uh, in my opinion anyway okay I think I'm going to have to use a hint there is nothing else that I could see from a obvious point of view. Can't go back any further. And I can't do any extra there. And I can't see anything obvious here. So I think for the sanity of the stream let's use our first hint there must be something what let's bring apart from the table in the bookshelf worth investigating in this room okay so what else is there to investigate I thought I checked everywhere it's candles Use the lens again. Oh, I don't have to use a second hint. Mubs, I appreciate you dropping uh, the 10k on the sparks, man. Gee! Ah, oh, then what? I cannot see anything else in this room that I'd go, hmm, let's have a look at that. Ah, oh. wait. Ah, oh. no freaking way. That is, I mean, wow. Unbefreakingleavable. That turns round. That's mad as well. I, lo I love that. That's so satisfying to do. We get a magnet. A second magnet has now appeared. Oh, my days. Okay. We can now move. We have to use one hint. But one hint in three games is pretty good. Let's dive back in. Attach the second magnet. And now we can focus on this pattern here, which is uh, one in the middle, uh, two on the right, one on the left. So let's go back in here. So these up here, that's going to be like that. That's going to be like that. So we'll move that to the top. One, two, back up. Okay. Okay. 
So there must now be a second one uh, hidden away somewhere. Obvious down here. No. Yeah, the, 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 we're definitely coming to. Uh, oh, here. Two symbols here. That weird snake and like an arrow. So we'll look at that instead. There's the arrow, and the snake is that one there. Double click in. And we see again, so we've got right, left, right, middle. Right, left, right, middle. Let's go back here. In. So right, left. Right, left, right, middle. Okay. We're definitely coming to the part of the series where I think I'm going to be having to use a lot more hints potentially um, to get through uh, the stream there will be an announcement coming up to the end of the room three uh, where we're gonna announce the next game that's gonna be played um, so I mean stick around for that I don't know if it's gonna be tonight might be tomorrow but there will be an announcement on what game will be coming up next so we've got a wooden model piece now which if we back out all the way I think this is going to be going on that small circular tower that we saw, uh, which is this one here. Oh. Oh, yes. The whole center console of the table is rising up. We are going to the next level, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, obviously we're going to be going over to this little dude over here, uh, by the Talisman Company again, uh, this is MFGRS of Diving Apparatus uh, from Guildford, Surrey, this is the location of Fireproof Games for those that don't know, um, Prototype Model 228, okay, so what can we check? We've got this little drawer first. Let's go in here. We now have an antler. Uh, the rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. The craftsman. Uh, so no doubt this guy probably met the end somehow. We don't know how just yet though. Um, what else have we got? got this here but that's not looking like it's going to be moving anytime soon um, what else can we check we've got this down here okay a small brass rivet uh, the brass rivet where does that go oh it goes on here right Yep. And we get a metal acorn. I'm going to flip the switch. What are you? A wooden model piece. Okay. So we've got quite a lot to go on now. Um, so that model piece we're going to obviously put in place first. And I think that model piece belongs in here. Nice. Incredible. Uh, you must go all the way around. Yep. And inside we go. What are we going to be given this time? A 
cricket or a grasshopper, I'd say. Oh. Just, I love how satisfying all of these little models are. It's just, ah, oh, I would do anything to have just a little, one of these intricate models. Like, just to let it just unfold and, ah, oh, amazing. Okay, so we get given here a metal pointer. Um, so that's cool. We're going to have another look at that acorn because that looks like it probably could be manipulated. Yep, and I think now that, does that belong on the helmet by any chance? Does that go anywhere here? Does the pointer, the pointer must go here, right? Yep, pointer goes there. And this now controls it. Um, so they must refer to the three symbols here, which is like an infinity sign, uh, a diamond and the three humps so we're gonna go oh wait no we've got to use the knob haven't we infinity sign diamond three humps Okay. Also with this game, if you uh, want to put headphones on, I'd recommend it. This has got one of the creepiest music slash atmospheres of all time, I think, of any like non-horror like kind of game. And uh, now, that doesn't do anything still. Okay. Do you do anything? No. Okay. Oh, what am I missing then? Oh, does that go uh, when we saw earlier that little tree? It must go in there, right? Here, I think. Does that go there? No. Yes. Okay. Antler's head. So we'll just marry up with this. Like that. Okay. Another part of this transforms. So something must go in there, but we don't know what yet. I take it that doesn't go in there. Neither does the key. Cool. So we're back out of there then. I don't think we need to do anything else just yet. Shout out to Mubs from going from level 10 to 13 on my stream. Jesus, man. Right, what else have we got here that we could potentially look into? Nothing there, nothing there. That's all gravy. The eyepiece doesn't reveal anything extra. Does that rivet go here? No. The rivet must belong somewhere on this dude. I would have thought. So look for like a triangle piece or something. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate you saying that. That's really awesome. There must be something else that we're missing here, ladies and gentlemen. There must be something else. So the rivet, I take it you don't belong in there, no. And you definitely don't move, or you don't want to move. You don't want to move just yet, okay. Hmm. 
got a lighthouse key still to figure out where that key belongs. So am I missing anything else in this room? That's uh, obvious. Don't think so at the moment. So there must be something here that we're missing. Unfortunately now I think if we use a hint again It's not going to tell us too much Which I guess is the point of a hint rather than it just saying click here Nothing on the back of his head uh, Just some steam coming out of it Nothing on that side that wants to be pressed Ah, oh, here. Right. Gotcha. Okay. You click all the way around. There we go. Okay. I feel like we're going to be seeing the inside of the helmet. Yep. Nice. That's, that is nice. We get a crystal file. Uh, which now we can leave um, Captain Sailor McSailorface inside the helmet. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Um, we're going to be going back into here. And we're now going to be putting, I think, that red, this red crystal or file of something, whatever it's inside there, it's pretty disgusting, uh, is going to be going inside here. Look at that. Man, in PC, this looks phenomenal. Uh, a glowing gemstone has now revealed itself. Now, the glowing gemstone, I'm guessing, must go on the model. My bet is that it belongs somewhere in here. Possibly. Either that, or I'm or I'm missing something else. Uh, like uh, we're missing maybe a topper to this. Oh, the key goes in here. Inside we go. Oh, it's this trippy one. I remember this one. So we can see here this little this wooden sculpture thing here. Uh Oh what bro? So I can't do anything with that just yet. I feel like we're gonna be rebuilding some I think we're gonna be rebuilding the mannequin. So you can see here this 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 arm here is is there, or that leg is back there. So we are going to be rebuilding this this wooden mannequin, and I think once we've rebuilt the mannequin, we can claim that next piece of the model. Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. This towerception. Okay. Well, I think now we have a location for the glowstone. That's going to live inside this part of the tower. Okay. So we now get an illuminated lamp. The table disappears, man. All I'm saying is, if this was an escape room, this would be a mad thing right here. 
This kind of escape room. Oh, yes, please. Oh, lift. Nothing says, nothing is so any more inviting than a squeaky lift. Oh man, look how nice. Again, I'm just fanboying here. Can you stop and appreciate how nice this looks on PC? Un freaking believable. Uh, okay, so we have the illuminated lamp still. We see that uh, the quality pyre service is on display there. This is so nice. Look at the stars, man. Incredible. Right, let's, let, let's have a look at the, at the task at hand. So, we need to get this illuminated lamp into that space there. Now, if we do that, that locks it in, doesn't it? So we don't want to lock them in. We do want to move them, though. Ah, okay, that's how we move them. So we need to lock it in position. Okay, so that's locked in. Okay, so if I do that, there we go. In you go. Illuminate the skies. Jesus. And for the first time, oh, okay. We are transported out, chapter complete. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat, though its beam may illuminate troubles to come. They remain yours to shoulder. You're gonna continue the game. Which means now that we can put that second intricate pyramid onto the table and we can see what the next task is going to be okay so there's five, so there's three more to collect, I think, from the looks of this. And this. Okay, that's going to turn around to that. Right. What am I, am I lining it up with that in the distance? Right, I must be. Right, so you're lined up there, roughly, like that. There we go. Snapshot and the next archway is revealed. Now, with this game, I wasn't planning on solving all three alternate endings. I will just leave it at the first one. If down the line, though, you want to see me try and complete the other two alternate endings then do let me know but I'll be moving on after solving the first ending of this game uh, now we have got another power supply here we've got mystical Maggie uh, and another device here interesting here you stand all corporate all corporal and breathing and the rest existing is something you appear to have a tremendous knack for a useful trait, and one that has been distressingly lacking in my previous apprentices. Perhaps my search really is at an end. This library is unique in all the world, though I would counsel against indulging your curiosity. As is common at Greyhome, 
There are things here that are not sympathetic towards inquisitive hands. Do not idle here. Okay, we're going to press on then. We're going to turn the power on. Uh, so we're going to wait until we get shocks. We're going to shock the system. Where possible. Somewhere here. There we go. There we go. So we have got now enough power. And it wants us to go into this doorway here. Let's have a little gander as to what's upstairs. Uh, okay. So we get... There's the switch there. We've got this book in front. So we've got the Great Khan and his impossible pyramid. And the Great Khan... Um, again, the face have been completely blurred out. We've got a metal object now, which is quite interesting. Um, but I don't know what you want. We've got that weird icon again that we saw here about another room, another, an, another door at the top. Um, but for now, we'll put that back in there. Uh, for now, we're going to be pressing and well flicking the switch to give us power into the next part of this estate and it looks like we're gonna have to go back down the stairs and retune the like the cardiogram is that what you call it so just here we're gonna open up all the switches And let's tune this next artifact. Oh, but we're miss. Oh no, there we go. There we go. A different kind of system. But then we go into the next room. This looks sick. Unbelievable. Okay, we have another golden object here. We can see the pyramid inside. And another note. What do you know of time? This tower was added by my great grandfather. There is time run out earlier than expected. Your path will appear when the last bell tolls midnight. A trifle dramatic, I know. But our ancestors understood more than they realised. There truly are moments when the cycle of our world brings it closer to its neighbours. Okay. So there's nothing we can do. Oh. Yes, there is. So that's pressed that down. Is there something? Oh, it's a smaller circular socket. I guess it wouldn't be... It would be too easy, wouldn't it, to have that just appear. For us to just run out. So we're going to need to work for it. But we are missing one of these little golden cylinder things there. Okay, let's see what else is around. So we have a, a wheel with a handle on it. We've got, I think, a crow up there. Okay, can't do anything with that at the moment. But does that belong in there? Nope. A socket, can I attach something here? Do you do anything? That's got four little socket points there. That's only got the one, so we'll leave that there for now. Uh, is there anything else that I might have missed? Is that going to go there? 
Nope, not yet. So, does this go anywhere on this model? It's gold, so it would make sense if it did go here. Do you do anything? Oh, you do do something. A small muscle pillar. Uh, so something is missing. It's not going to be that. Just confirm that. But this. That pillar goes there. Okay. Open up. We've got another. Is this a game? Okay. Cool. This must be where it goes, right? So that turns. But we can't do anything with it as yet, can we? So that's fine. What about you? What do you do? Is there anywhere to turn the large... Oh. Let me guess. Oh, no, okay. These noises are like super, super creepy. So you don't belong there, but you have got a diamond edge. Does anything get revealed when we do this? It doesn't look like it initially, okay. So, I take it it doesn't belong anywhere there. Nope. Oh, man. I'm definitely getting a lot more stumped with this game than I was the previous one. Ah, here we go. Okay, a metal ring now. So, that metal ring, does that belong on here? Yes. And now that. Nope. That one belongs in there. The handle came out of the socket. So we can still use it again, which is good news for us. Uh, okay, so we now need to make, I think, this bottom uh, kind of look here. So what can we do? Can we slide it? Yes. So we need to match it, which is basically that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Flick it round. And we've got turning cogs, ladies and gentlemen. Turning cogs. And four discs. Okay. So I'm guessing we have to get these four discs into the individual sockets now. One. Oh, and we start to get a pendulum. Nearly. Okay. Next one. Um, what do we want to do now? Let's try this again. We'll go down, round, there we go, lovely, the pendulum is now swinging, number This is now Ah, oh, where's this gonna go now? I'm assuming that I've done a bad. Oh. Yes. That's good. 
There's three. We're now going to get that last one in. The rest of that mechanism is now starting to turn. Ah, oh, the last one. This is the one that gets me every time. Not today though, that is number four. And we can go inside another structure. Man, I just, I just love how intricate this little game is. It's so cool. Okay then. So you must go in there. Oh, do you turn? Yes, you do. So where exactly are you having to go? You're going up there, are you? Right. Why? So the idea is that we'd get that cog. Oh. If I put you there. No. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's going to go along enough so that you can turn. So that you can go all the way along. Swipe you across. There we go. Okay, that's it. Click the button. Nice. And we now get a repetition of the puzzle that we had before. This time we've got three individual parts that we need to move about. So that's one. That's two. Three. Green light. Flick the switch one more time. We now get a gear. Okay, so that must mean that that puzzle is now completed. The pendulum is still swinging. Uh, let's look at this gear one more time. Ah, yes. So that does indeed belong in there. That must now complete the contraption. And we get a lift up. Well, there's some stairs anyway. I'm gonna head up the stairs. And into the next part of the room. Uh, so what can we see in here now? We've got these, this caught my eye straight away. Uh, this wheel has several sockets. So that must be that piece then. Okay. Is that going to toll the bell by any chance? Yep. So only eight strikes there, however, I think, yep, it does want us to go and have a look inside this and we now get a puzzle within a picture and we've got to guide this little spark around okay we now get a clock face and I think now where does that clock face go? Must be going somewhere. So do you turn? No. Uh, so does that belong then on uh, the golden box then? Because it's a it's it's a golden kind of relief, isn't it? So, in theory, it must belong on here somewhere. Yes. Okay. 
now got like a chess chess thing. So we've got to now take each of the individual pieces. Take that's two. There's three. Uh, just there. That one there. Mm, got to go there. That there. Up there. Okay. Inside this next one. Right. What's this puzzle? That round to there. Okay. Okay. Not a bad one. Oh, bro. What is going on there? I just say that the frame the frame rate of PC is so nice, much nicer than on uh, a tablet. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. So we we basically want to be creating train tracks now. There we go, and that comes all the way down. Oh, there we go. The socket belongs in there. Ah, oh, it's the exact same puzzle again. Okay, so we've got to replicate this now, but with turn with turn dials. Uh, okay, so that's one. Yep. That's two, and then three is that. Yes. Switch one more time. We get now a handle with a socket. Okie dokie. Oh, we get this other... What are you there? A ballerina statuette. That part of the box now disappears. Okay. What are we saying now then? Do we have to go back up to the... Ah, the door. Okay. Into the attic, I think we're you know, not the attic, the cellar we're going, not the attic. Okay. Now what we've got now we've got this weird box. I've got a key. And that key's got to wind the box, hasn't it? Oh, ballerina! We need to wind the box. How do we wind the box? Oh, there we go. Right. So we have to basically, I think, create the... Keyhole, don't we? Yep, there it is. Oh. So she got to get to this little nodule here then, or in the middle? Uh, so she's got to get into the middle. Press. Oh, amazing. Oh, and it goes there. So it's got to get into that, 
that top right ring there, doesn't it? Uh, but to get there, so I basically it doesn't matter when I press this. That's not going to work, is it? Oh, she's got to be part of the big ring then. She can't go back to where she was. So, we've got to press it now. Okay. Then, press it in there. Ah, oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, one of the brothers has got a red gem on her back. Okay, I think then this is a good point to end this stream. So to conclude, we've done bits. We've got these ballerinas to come together. We've got this mysterious red gem, which has got to go somewhere, and a winding key. So thank you everyone so much who have uh, tuned in. Thanks to all those who are going to be watching this in the past streams. Hope to see you tomorrow for some more The Room.